All right, what's going on, guys? It's Rut Dog. I have fully completed my house. It is now fully built and fully furnished. And I thought I would give you guys a tour. Sorry if the audio is going to be a little crazy. I'm commentating over some already taken video because my mic wasn't working during the live recording session. So here we go. This is the same workstation I previously had, but I've now added uh, like armor improvements, grindstone, work table, um, animal pin. So now I'm fully functional smelter. Fully functional at my house to do anything I need armor or weapons related. This is the exterior of my armory. I built that on one of my wings. I got some target shoots, and I think that was a beer keg in the background. So party in while I play with swords. Um, that is the little bee thing. I don't really use it, but it was available, so I put it in there. Now I'm just giving you an exterior tour. And uh, it looks like I'm right over the guardian stones or something down there. There's actually nothing on this side of the house, a tanning rack and another animal pin, but I was just making a loop. And there's my logs, everything else I previously had outside, but where it all comes in is what I built inside. It's awesome, it's fully furnished, ready to go. So let me show you, here you go. All right, so this used to be the small house, the first build you can do, and I converted it into an entryway. Tons of display cases. The only thing I haven't finished, see how there's only one wolf head there and there's a bear on the other side. I didn't find the saber cat tooth. I didn't do all that, but all the weapons racks, display cases, everything's fully furnished in here in my new entryway. As we come into the main hall, I got my, oh, there's a corner. I got my giant uh, fireplace, dining room table. This area is uh, the bottom of my um, arcane enchanter. So this is just like a bottom storage area, and then it goes up to the tower. That's what I chose for one of the, the wings, was an enchanting wing. And I believe I'm going to go show that to you right now. There you go, more weapons racks, chests. Uh, there's my enchanter, lockboxes. There's mannequins, lockboxes, chests everywhere, any kind of storage. That's what the best thing of this is. I mean, I've had all the houses available in Skyrim, and this by far has more storage, mannequins, displays than anything. It is definitely awesome. I honestly don't remember where I'm going. Uh, another mannequin, more display cases. All right. That goes out to that little balcony I showed you above the armory. The armory is actually below this. Fireplace, dining room table. So the three things I chose to add on for wings was an enchanting tower. Here's the armory. And then the other one is a uh, alchemy tower. But look at all these mannequins. I haven't taken the time to move all my stuff from my other houses that takes forever so the mannequins don't have all my badass armor sets and everything it's just whatever I had on me um, that's what's here but look how many cases and displays there are it's totally awesome I love it I'm gonna be able to that's the next video I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move everything and I'll show you the finished with um, all my weapon sets and armors and everything I have so it'll be fully done but that's gonna take me forever to move it's like moving in real life it's probably gonna take me a couple days just to do that so back here is my, uh, I don't know if it's like my uh, steward quarters, it's like the back side of the kitchen, definitely storage. Um, there's a lot of alchemy stuff in here, this is the bottom part of the alchemy uh, tower and like in all the barrels that I built and everything there's actually ingredients and stuff in, in everything. And uh, I think I'm going to go show you the top part of the alchemy tower right now. Here's my master bedroom. Comes with a lot of chests, lock boxes. I think there's a safe, um, all the vanities and cupboards. I love having everything organized. That's one of my favorite parts about Skyrim is just organizing my stuff. And so now I have the opportunity to store everything the way I want it in places I want it, and I'm just good to go. Um, this is my family's quarters. I'm not married. I'm, this is definitely a bachelor pad. I'm not going to do the married adopt children thing, but you can. Like I could have built on a wing for uh, for bedrooms. Here's all my alchemy stuff. Um, now I'm good to go. If you don't want to build like an alchemy tower or arcane enchanter, you can put those in the main hall. There's a spot for them and you could have built on like a greenhouse and bedrooms. There's other things you can do if you want to make it more homey. But this is definitely my bachelor pad. All I wanted was weapons, enchanting, alchemy, um, everything I need to do to take care of everything and I'm good to go. All right, what I forgot to show you guys is there's also a, an additional uh, cellar you can add on. So I'm going to go back to that now. It's um, 
It's the, the basement, but it's fully furnished as well. Here's the little access point. All right, guys, here you go. This is my fully furnished basement. Um, weapon racks. That's actually like an altar a shrine to the gods. You can build customized shrines depending on which gods you follow or worship in the game. Uh, more mannequins. There's meat. I got more beer barrels. Before I customize it, there wasn't even lighting. Like all the sconces and candles you see up, you have to put all that stuff in the house for lighting. So it was real dark down here. Obviously, it's a cellar. I got my blacksmith forge, um, another grindstone, tanning rack, tons of storage. So this is just like an additional add-on. I thought it'd be cool to have my basement fully pimped out. I doubt I use anything down here, being as in I have everything else upstairs. I don't understand how you have a smelter and a forge with no ventilation in the basement. It seems a little hazardous. There's actually smoke and stuff coming off it right there like this. That doesn't seem like a smart idea. But they offered it and... I upgraded it and here you go. So as far as everything that was done, um, minus the materials I already had, I spent about probably 10,000 gold on this in total. So not that bad to have the house that I have now. Alright, I'm going to go back outside for one last exterior view. Alright guys, we're back outside now. And I'll give you one last little loop to check everything out. There's the balcony again off of the, the armory. You can see the towers. You can actually get up there. It's quite a view from the top of the towers. So I really love the layout. This is definitely the best location. Best to look at. Um, I'm going to build houses or estates on the other areas. And I'll give you a tour of those once I get all that done. But look, I mean, you got the lake. You got everything else. This is totally awesome. And I got a vampire. Or somebody doing something they're not supposed to be doing. What is this guy doing? I'm gonna check him out real quick. Get him off my property. This is definitely a no trespassing zone. And he's on my property. There you go. Don't mind the mask I was wearing. That uh, actually lets me haul more. I took off my armor. I'm just, like I said, I'm moving stuff around. Get this guy off my property, steal his stuff, and sell his robes. Build something else. But yeah, like I said, about it took about 10,000 gold, and you have to mine a lot. You're going to need tons of and tons of iron. I mean, it took several several days in-game for me to like buy what was available from vendors and mine the iron ore vein. That, my, that iron ore vein is not infinite, and the clay and the uh, quarried stone are. So you're always on a hunt for iron, because everything you build takes locks, iron fittings, um, hinges, so you're going to need a ton of iron. Anyway, here's the bottom view of my estate, if I can get back up these rocks. Look at that. Maybe I'll give you a view from the tower for the very end. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it back up this, this hillside. There, It has to be accessible to get back to my house, because that would be stupid. Yeah. Alright, I'm good. I'll give you a view for the tower for the end. Alright guys, this is it. Check out the view. This place is awesome. Alright, I'm going to go all the way up. Show you where I live. Look at this. Alright. That's it for me guys. If you have any questions about the build or anything else or how you do it, um, just leave a comment and I'll get back to you. Otherwise, I am very satisfied with my purchase and my build. Here you go. Once I work on the next ones, I will put up another video and let you guys know. Thanks again. See ya.